Good morning, Simon. Good morning, Paul. Simon, you've been in retailing, what, three decades at least, and uh, immensely experienced. And even you were lucky enough that when you started, you started with a, a big retail chain that taught you a lot, Tesco. That was your first one. Tell me about the situation back in your house in Britain there. Were you surprised when the phone rang one day and it was the manager of your local Tesco offering you a, a job? Were, were you surprised when the phone rang? Yeah, I was very surprised, Paul. We didn't have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have known you'd come up with something like that. Uh, of course, in a few minutes now, uh, we're going to have a discussion between you and I, uh, giving some points, some useful, helpful hints and some perhaps uh, not to be too melodramatic about it exclusive information to help retailers and suppliers and everyone else involved in the retail industry in south africa but before that i believe you've got a little bit of a a, a treat for us which is a, uh, a a a keynote presentation that you're going to give us and also some slides some powerpoint slides that might appear to be arbitrary but actually are all about the world's top 50 retailers. Can you fill me in a little bit? Uh, yes, certainly, Paul. What, what, what I've basically got to present in the first part of the presentation is a report I've been working on for the last six months with not just SJM, but, but Cantor Retail, um, the, the Grocer, which is a publication, and uh, Manchester Business School in putting together this report, which is really covering global retailing and the top uh, global retailers, uh, looking, at, looking at how things have developed in other parts of the world, from, you know, from South America right across to China. The, 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 you know, the good things, but also the bad things, the things to look out for. Um, so uh, there's a study, a detailed study being put together on this, um, retailers have now been ranked in terms of their, 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 their turnover. This information is, is very up to date. It goes up to the end of 2010, which you can appreciate is, is, is good up to date information. Um, and on top of that, we've been following it through. So we've been doing the, the business research, but we've also been looking at, at, at the undertones within the media of the, of, of, of the retail world. Are, as well so so we've got some good insight that's come from the grocer publication as well as as well as the research done by by, by the consultants and the university who should be scared about walmart coming into south africa in my opinion nobody should be scared if they are serious about their business and are doing well in their business walmart has is going to lift the bar it's going to in you know, it's bringing in healthy competition, but it's not going to change the league table overnight. MassMart's position in the league table as far as market share goes is still going to have the same market share. ShopRite, Pick and Pay, Metro Cash and Carry, they've all got to up the, up the level of customer service that they have to give the market. And, and it's, it's, that's how it tends to work when a player like Walmart comes in. This is what we're talking about, where my thumb is. Uh, just come in closer there. Is the Tesco app that that commercial's just been about. It's, uh, it's a very standard app. There is one major South African retailer who this week has privately confirmed to us that they have bought this app. So guys, the, the wagon has already started rolling. You need to catch up. This actual app, the name Tesco will be changed to blah, blah. Oh, I can't tell you who it is, but the deal has been done with MTN. So let's go into this app. It's really very simple and that's the key to most successful apps today. Now here's the magic thing about it. Do you see there, scan and add? So you just press on that. And with your normal smartphone camera, it's not just exclusive to Apple, um, you bring up, every item has a barcode. This is how this side of it works. Um, sorry, the phone has gone to standby. There's, there's the, sorry, Peto, can you see that? Right, 
Okay, it's automatic, so all I do is move the barcode within sight of those guidelines. Did you hear a click? Um, and there it is. Red Bull is available at my local Tesco warehouse, and at the moment I just want to say that I want to add one. So I press on that. There you go, one has been ordered. Augmented reality is in Europe and is in the US now in terms of applications for both the computer and also the cell phone. Now, because it doesn't exist in this country um, yet, I can't show you a, a, an actual demonstration of it, but what I've got is some, um, is some very short videos. Okay, this is a bar of Kit Kat. It's got one of those little barcodes on the side. Just give it a bit of volume, please. And you can choose different songs. So if you like the parlor tones, for instance, or you like U2, uh, the, it advertises on the Kit Kat as an extra thing. It can, a, kit, a bar of Kit Kat comes with a free music video. Okay, and this is a new application for McDonald's where it's a marketing application. You see that billboard there? That's in Sloan Square in Britain. And by um, taking a cell phone photo from your camera, it, it sends a signal from your, from your uh, cell phone to that billboard, and you get rewarded with a, with a free um, Big Mac. See, this, in this case, it's an ice cream. Catch a photo of a Sunday and get one for free. So the cell phone's coming into shot now. Right, there's the ice cream, and it tells you where to go. You just take your photo along to McDonald's, and, uh, and you're away. This is the hottest for the season. Okay. No. <laughs> A little too busy. Too purple. Too short. <laughs> too hot. Yeah, that's new. Okay. I think my mom wore this. <laughs> this is great. Blue. Uh, where do I sign? You just did. <laughs> <laughs> 